So imagine, you know, take the perspective of a local game store and you decide to carry Meta Zoo because you think, you know, according to Alpha Investment, he's going to be the influencer behind it. It's going to be good times. We're all going to make a ton of money. And your store is basically bankrupt, right? Because you decided to carry this product that you bought for probably 60 70 I hope not 80 $89 a booster box. And now you can't even sell it. A big online store, Layton Games, is selling these booster boxes for $20, $30 a booster box, uh, including the very popular Topps Chrome set, which a lot of people have said is worth a ton of money, right? Including Alpha Investment. I think he's opened a lot of Topps Chromes in his time trying to promote the game, uh, only due to negativity. I can't imagine um, ever listening to his advice. Um, people say, what about Flesh and Blood booster boxes? They're like still at 80, right? I saw the sale for Fle Flesh and Blood as well, and looks like the majority of the boxes, uh, including their new box, uh, Dusk Till Dawn, and Everfest, and uh, Uprising, and Dynasty, first edition. It's still kind of a little weird to see first edition on these cards. His Magic doesn't have 1st Edition, obviously never has. And then the Pokemon no longer uses 1st Edition, even though they are probably the that was probably the template for these other card games to then use it. So anyway, I find that it is very weird. Uh, it's not just weird in many... Um, it's weird because if you are a game store and you wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt and you wanted to listen to... Alpha investments, and you wanted to, um, you wanted to do this stuff. You would actually be completely screwed for taking a chance on a new card game because of the pump and the dump. Instead of growing their player base, I mean, they could have easily done what Weiss does. I mean, there are plenty of card games that are not necessarily Pokemon, right? And to compare yourself to Pokemon and set such a high standard is really, I think kind of bold and isn't you know you, whenever we do a website we always talk about milestones 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 and it's it's pretty obvious to me um this company really just wanted to grow at any cost uh, even at the cost of their player base uh, they've isolated many of their players um content has always been very dry i've always kind of wondered you know like can a dude like me step in and then just kind of dominate the meta zoo space? And the answer is yes. And I have. I produce more videos than any other meta zoo content creator. I my videos get more views and I have more subscribers than probably all of them combined, really. Uh, outside of Alpha Investment, there isn't really um, a there isn't really a opportunity. I mean, at twenty dollars a booster box, like how much cheaper? Do you want it to go? Um, like, no, no, no. Like, seriously, like, how much cheaper can this possibly go at 20 to $30 a booster box? Can it get cheaper than this? I don't know, man. But it doesn't, it seems like every day I make another video, there are less and less MetaZoo content creators. Now, I checked the recently uploaded, and there are very few content creators making daily MetaZoo videos. Um, I guess there's not good information, and the negativity around the zoo is quite bad. Um, I don't know who's buying this stuff anymore. I don't know what why they're buying it, or you know, it's just this random thing, like where I have never seen a card game living or dead today, today, today. You have to include uh, inflation that sells for twenty dollars a box, right? Twenty dollars a box. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I, I still, um, I'm still completely uh, baffled by that, right? Um, I am uh, completely baffled by this uh, talk. And I think uh, in terms of where this can end up, uh, this could end up at $10 a booster box, which is legitimately um, very very weird you don't see product at this price living or dead you don't see product i mean this is equivalent to 
like, let's take a product like Force of Will. I don't know. I know that's not dead, but they're still selling thirty, forty, fifty dollars a box on Amazon. Um, and I think that's the lowest price. Otherwise, I would buy some more Force of Will. Fire Emblem Cipher has only twelve packs or sixteen packs, and they're selling for fifty to two hundred, three hundred dollars a booster box, depending on which booster box. And Yasha is selling anywhere between five to ten to twenty dollars a pack. Um, these are dead card games that shouldn't have as many fans as or liquidity as Meta Zoo. Yeah, Meta Zoo is sitting here at twenty dollars a booster box, and no one wants to buy it. And that's probably the most concerning part is a big retailer with, you would assume, pallets of these booster boxes and these chromes and so on. I uh, can't move it, uh, even with their REITs and their, you know, Layton, Layton Sports Cards is a huge, huge sports card. Uh, they're huge in sports cards, so they definitely want to move this product and they're not able to. Um, you really have to question the longevity of a game that at best, you know, I mean lost 90% of its value from booster box from set over set. And well, these stores, I mean, stores that invested in MetaZoo are completely out. Like if you have Wilderness, UFO, and Seance, I didn't know Seance was this cheap. Um, you're basically at zero. After you're done selling it with fees and shipping and stuff, I mean, you, you're making like less than a $20 bill on many of these booster boxes. Uh, and yet native is supposedly a hundred dollars. I don't know how that's even possible to be quite frank with you that like I don't know how a, a game can recover from the fact that their booster boxes are sitting at twenty dollars now Because that's dragon maids bad, but dragon maids was never twenty dollars a booster box Dragon maids was always you know 50 60. It always kind of had a little life to it This has almost no life to it and dragon maze is one of probably what you think 400 magic sets this is one of like 10 or 12 or 15 of sets so it makes a big and it's not just one set it's free sets right so if i could buy a magic booster box for 20 dollars, no matter what it was it would be fun to open i don't know if i can say the same for uh metazoo at this time